Hey everybody, my name is Tim and welcome to Building Solvers in Houdini. So this is effectively a spiritual successor to Houdini 101. Some of you who've been watching this channel for a bit know that I've been teasing Houdini 102 uh, like two years ago or something that I was working on it. Effectively, uh, this course is what I had intended for the first part of Houdini 102. And I never really finished that course because I never really knew where to take Houdini 102. Because the thing was, Houdini 101 was 20 hour course and it started with introductory chapters and then we started getting into building a final shot and I never really knew what to do with the final shot for Houdini 102 so I had sort of prepared all of the introductory stuff for the the introductory chapters but I never really got beyond that point so that's kind of where they sat in stasis for a very long time until I decided recently that I wanted to take all of that stuff and just roll it into a separate course because it was super interesting what I had sort of planned to do with it but i never really finished it so i decided to rework a lot of those things uh re-record it and then release it as a separate course which is essentially what this has become so uh building solvers in Houdini. so what we're going to be learning over these four and a half hours is essentially the fundamentals of how do solvers work uh so we're going to be starting with just a couple of simple examples this is going to be the first one and a half hours of just examples in a sub solver on how do sub solvers work how we can iterate on the previous frame how you can make some interesting uh examples nothing too advanced yet this is going to be sort of primers for the for the other stuff that we're going to be discussing later so we're going to make a sort of a, a fake snow effect like you see in red dead redemption for example if you walk through the snow uh, like a trail in the snow and it looks pretty cool that's pretty easy to fake in uh in the sub solvers we're going to be looking at vdb advection uh, we're going to be uh, uh, moving around some 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 particles learn how we can do all of that and once we get all of the sort of the fundamentals out of the way there's an additional three hours and that's going to be the real meat of the things we're going to be replicating the Houdini pop solver from scratch inside of a sub solver. So we're going to be learning how we can do sourcing, how we can uh, create IDs on it, how we can uh, then integrate forces to have stuff move around, fall down. So we're going to re replicate the Houdini pop force. Uh, we're going to have collision objects. So you can just make a uh, make collision objects and everything will bounce off. You will have bouncing settings. We're going to learn how we can sort of do a simple version of grains. So they will sort of stack up on, the, uh, on each other. We're going to learn how to do uh, volume advection of our particles so we're going to learn how to recreate some of the uh, some of the uh, pop notes that you have available of course not all of them because there are a lot and then in the end we'll have a functional uh, pop solver which you probably will never use in production but the main takeaway from all of this is that once you know how to build a solver like this you can take all of that information and essentially apply it to any solver in Houdini because the sub solver is essentially just a wrapper for a sub solver in DOPS. And you can do, you can just go into any solver in Houdini, make a sub solver and replicate all of this stuff. Create your own custom logic on top of already existing solvers like Vellum Solver, Pop Solver, uh, Pyro Solver, a lot of cool stuff. So instead of really building towards one specific final shot in this course, we're really going to be focusing more on theory and just building a technical setup. We're going to leave it at that. And then you can use all of that knowledge to really improve any effects where you you're going to be doing from now on because once you understand all of this uh, a lot of the other stuff you're going to be doing in Houdini is going to become a lot easier this is all building on top of Houdini 101 knowledge so if you've watched Houdini 101 uh, this should be a nice sort of progression if you want to learn more about simulations so the first five introductory chapters which is about one and a half hours is going to be available on YouTube for free which is gonna essentially cover a lot of the basics I'm going to be uploading one video a week. You can already watch that on uh, with a link in the description on Patreon. And this will, that will also include the download for, uh, for those chapters. So if you want to play around with the hip files that I provide, you can do that over there. Then there's an additional three hours where we start replicating the Houdini pop solver from scratch, which again is replicates a lot of the fundamental stuff from the Houdini pop solver. So sourcing, collisions, uh, grains, uh, pop forces, volume attraction. We're really going to dive really in depth and then end up with a functional solver uh, at the end. That's going to be available on Gumroad. Um, if you get the patreon version there will be a discount link in the patreon post so it doesn't matter if you first just watch the introductory stuff through patreon and then buy the gumroad version or you just buy the gumroad version um, outright it doesn't matter cost the same you will just get the discount so if you like the introductory chapters i really recommend the advanced the the advanced section it just it goes really in depth we're also going to be learning a lot about vex because i got a lot of 
a lot of questions from people to to cover more vex so i'm going to be we're going to be doing a lot of in uh, in vex there it's going to be quite interesting covering a lot of interesting functions we're just going to be learning how to yeah create this solver from scratch so the sourcing collisions how do collisions work the volume attraction sourcing forces so yeah watch the free stuff first or watch it on patreon and then if you're interested you can watch the additional stuff I really hope that you guys will like this this course. I'm really happy to finally have this out after this being in stasis for like probably like two years. Just really happy to have this out of the door. I'm really happy how it turned out. So hopefully you'll join me in the course with the link in the description or watch the first free video tomorrow. Uh, hopefully I'll see you there. Uh, let me know what you think and see you in the next one. Peace.